Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and today I bring you loot from 10 hours of Soul Wars. So I'm brand new to this mini game. This will be my first ever time uh, doing it, so I'll be correcting mistakes along the way. But the main mission is to acquire as much zeal as possible in a time span of 10 hours. And at the very end, we're going to be spending all of our zeal on Spoils of War. Not only is the pet 1 in 400 from the Spoils of War, but you also get some very nice loot so we'll be price checking all of that at the end my first impression of soul wars was that it was a lot of fun uh, i was actually doing it very wrong for the first uh few games here you know just kind of having a lot of fun in the middle killing as many people as i could but i quickly learned you have to do a little bit more than just kill people in this mini game to acquire the maximum amount of zeal per hour whether you win lose or draw but before we get into today's video which is going to be very exciting i promise you guys that i do want to say that this this video is sponsored by none other than Dungeon Hunter 6. The new game in the Dungeon Hunter franchise since 2015. And let me tell you, the anticipation was worthwhile. Dungeon Hunter 6 is a free-to-play mobile ARPG with a unique hero collector feature and a stunning fantasy style. The gameplay features a fast-paced hack-and-slash combat style with various builds and skills to utilize as you fight big bosses. It's absolutely free to play. Download now using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen if you're viewing on a PC. And Dungeon Hunter 6, killing a boss is not the end. For every boss you want to defeat, the game has a unique mechanism by which you can not only loot, ride, and fly them, but also summon up to three of them onto the battlefield to become members of your squad, make them follow you anywhere, and perform combo skills. You can even shapeshift into them to harness the ultimate power when you reach the late game. It's a very cool mechanism that I personally haven't seen done in this genre before and there are over 100 uniquely designed bosses to conquer and explore and new classes and units updated monthly. The fun of utilizing them in battle is endless. In Dungeon Hunter 6 you can also play with guild mates and battle in real time guild wars. You can grind with a variety of skill tree options to test builds, trade items via the auction system. So much to do, so much to conquer. Down Download the game now for free on both Android and iOS. Use my link in the description or scan the QR code if you are viewing on a PC and you will get a special starter pack worth $50 using my link which includes 10 summoning scrolls, 1 SSR lieutenant, the demonic wolf, 1 accessory pack. So what are you waiting for? And also don't forget to use your game account to enter the launch lucky spin event for free to win great prizes like an iPhone 15 Pro. Pro Max, PS5, Apple Watch, and more starting October 15th. Check out the description for more details, and a huge thank you to Dungeon Hunter 6 for sponsoring today's video. Let's begin. Well, instead of showing you guys a bunch of footage of me receiving, uh, let's just say not the amount of zeal that you should receive per Soul Wars game, a lot of mess ups on my part, I figure I'll just kind of skip to the end here and show you guys everything I learned within this 10 hour and how I go about getting a 60 zeal point game game now. So I start with getting some bandages and then usually one or two potions. These, uh, you know, boost your stats and give you some prayer. And then of course I'll grab a barricade. The barricade's not necessary. You'll notice that I'm uh, one of few people who actually grab that, but, uh, it does come in handy for certain situations. After that, I go ahead and kill three forgotten souls, which I notice a lot of people don't do. Uh, again, this is kind of me still being brand new. I think this was day two and, uh, this was just kind of how I went about it. So if I, if I can do anything to save some time for the Soul Wars experts out there watching, feel free to comment below and I'll make sure that it gets top comments so that uh, people aren't going to be misled here. But yeah, I usually kill three forgotten souls and I get six soul fragments and then I want to go to the middle and use them on the obelisk if my team has control of it. This will lower the other team's avatar strength. As you can see, it's at 100% right now and we're going against the red team. And once I deposited the fragments, it went down to 86%. So now if you go attack the avatar, you can actually hit him. You won't just be hitting constant ones because his strength is now lowered a little bit. But it's not lowered enough to the point where I want to go kill it just yet. So I want to get a little bit of credit here uh, on top of killing those forgotten souls. I'm going to go ahead and kill a little bit of other people on the other team and just maintain the middle. And since it was a really late night, not a lot of players in this game, it didn't really take too long to maintain the middle. So once I did that, I decided, all right, now it's time to get some credit for attacking the avatar. Even 
even though it's at 86% strength, uh, by the time I get here and start attacking it, hopefully my team will have lowered his strength so that I can get some good DPS on him. And usually this is where I die most of the time because uh, the teams like to protect their avatars so that they don't lose. But again, it really just depends how late it is and how many people are playing the game. Sometimes like peak time, 6 p.m. EST, there'll be a lot of max players here. So doing what I just did, killing that avatar with this other guy, uh, seems like impossible some games, but this game it wasn't. And you got to make sure you heal another player that'll help you out with zeal so i went ahead and healed that guy vex uh, once we finished off killing the avatar and now my team is in the lead it's one two zero and we're just gonna really just kind of kill people just play a little casually now that we've done so much this is why i really like the crystal setup because it's good for tanking and it's also really good for dps uh the samurai god sword's good for freezing people and the just this year as well as the toxic staff of the dead and the elderness ward is good for tanking if you're uh, getting attacked by a lot of people with melee and range versus being attacked by someone with magic that makes for pretty good tank gear so either way uh my team's doing pretty well at this point i guess we'll just kind of go back to the middle here try to get some more kills you can also pick up bones and bury them in a graveyard for more points for extra zeal and i tried doing that at some points uh you know if you just happen to see bones laying on the ground you might as well just pick them up and bury them i think uh, every time you bury them in your graveyard your avatar gets plus one uh strength so you're seeing that my blue team's avatar is at zero percent strength now and it's getting attacked in this situation i should have been at my avatar defending it no doubt about it kind of watching that back now makes me realize that because it's dying very quickly so i was trying to make my way back but i didn't make it back in time and now it's a tie the red team has one kill and the blue team has one kill thanks to me and that guy vex so at this point i'm just getting a couple more kills here everyone you kill on the other team uh you know you're helping out somehow some way you just don't want to kill the same person over and over again because I don't think that helps your zeal much. So that is something to keep in mind. But now that the red team's avatar strength just hit zero, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run to the avatar just so that I can get as much damage as possible on him so that we can hopefully get back our lead uh, from, you know, one to one to two to one. There's also something about going to the other team's graveyard that I haven't really learned yet. Um, yeah, so I don't want to talk too much on that, but all I know is sometimes we we uh, are told by like people who actually know what they're doing to go to the graveyard right away, claim it. Uh, still a little confused on why you have to do that, but I figured I would just come here and try to kill a few people. I noticed that pure keeps, uh, coming back, but yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend killing the same person time and time again. It just so happens that I kept running into him, so yeah, shout out to that guy. You're gonna run into a lot of pures here. A lot of Iron Men and a lot of mains. A little bit of everyone, uh, is in this community, and it's a really good community. Really nice people here, and I really enjoyed it. This didn't really feel like a job at all or making a video. This was just a lot of fun. This is definitely a mini game that I can see myself coming back to. Uh, just like Last Man Standing, I've been going back there almost every week since I did a video there a year ago. And I think once I wrap up this big uh, TOA grind that I'm on now, I'll definitely be returning to Soul Wars. But either way, uh, the blue team is ahead still. We're at two now. I didn't help with that avatar kill, but uh, you know, we're still winning. Notice I did kill a few more Forgotten Souls because once this red avatar spawns back, uh, I want to be able to lower the strength. But unfortunately, I died before I was able to do so. So that does happen sometimes. It is unfortunate you will die when you're trying to do something. Maybe you're trying to reach an avatar. Uh, that's what I'm doing here now. But you're going to get frozen and you're going to get uh, bothered by the other team. I mean, their goal is to make it so that you don't do any of the things that you're supposed to do. So it's understandable. But uh, nevertheless, the odds were against me. Uh, I was tanking the best of my ability. You know, it's not that important to get a kill on the avatar. It's more so important just to get a little bit of damage there. You know, you want to get credit for everything. So I'm glad that I was able to hit it just a few times and then unfortunately I died but my team is still in the lead and um, you know when I died I realized that I'm right next to my team's avatar and there's only three minutes left in the game so now I'm going to do my very best to defend our avatar so that it's not going to be a tie we have the lead and we want to keep that lead so I've pretty much shown everything in this video uh, despite not understanding the graveyard still uh, you know we went for their avatar we killed it successfully then we damaged it again successfully um, we healed some players 
letters at the same time we sacrificed some soul fragments in the middle so we got credit for that also killed a decent amount of players on the other team and now we're just spending the uh few minutes left in the game defending our avatar so that we are ensuring that we win and the other team will not uh tie us so that's basically uh how i went about getting 60 zeal it worked perfectly almost every time and luckily we did defend successfully there's only three seconds left so let's see how many zeal we get from this game where i feel like i did everything i was supposed to do and there you have it 60 zeal i actually didn't uh, bury any bone there but yeah we still got 60 for a grand total of 1786 now you're not going to get 60 zeal every time because it's just not you know it's not realistic you can't win every single game when i first started this video i actually lost like the first five games in a row uh, not only was i bad but my team wasn't so good either but in time and with some practice and just you know trial and error really uh you will definitely be able to get those 50 zeal games those uh 60 zeal games even though at the beginning i was getting like 32 44 really bad numbers but uh i'll just you know it's just like everything else in runescape that you're unfamiliar with once you do start becoming more familiar with something uh you can expect better rates an hour and that's exactly what happened for me so uh all, all in all i'd say this video took like 13 hours i felt like i needed to do some extra hours because if it was 10 hours of me doing soul wars you know those first three hours were a little choppy so after i learned it though successfully i felt like 1800 zeal was the perfect amount to end on 180 zeal an hour again that's if you win every game but you can come very close to that uh win or lose just if you're doing everything correctly and you're maximizing your zeal then you know 1800 is a fair number in 10 hours so with that being said we're now going to be spending all of our zeal on spoils of war uh we should expect some decent you know drops uh coal you know lobsters bolts seeds runes all sorts of nice things but the main goal that we want to hit is the pet it is a one in 400 and i don't even have 100 crates so i doubt i'll get it but if we do that'll be awesome and if not i get to return to soul wars in the future and go for that pet which a lot of people want because it's a really cool looking pet it's really big and uh yeah it stands out uh much more than other pets in this game so hopefully we get that but we're just gonna go ahead and open up all these crates i kept getting some cabbage and some other weird stuff that would fill up my inventory but i was trying to keep all the loot and just the inventory itself i didn't want to bank anything so sorry that this took so much longer than it needed to but i tried to uh fast forward these clips a little bit for you guys really average loot um beneficial for iron man accounts for sure but we really just want to see the pet i mean these are all nice drops and all but there's nothing extraordinary from these crates uh that is worth a ton of money just average uh, stackable rewards that you're seeing in the inventory seeds unfortunately are not worth anything anymore torstal snapdragons renars they are are just worth nothing so what do we have here ladies and gentlemen the lil creator all right all right we got coins nature runes death runes and a pet inside that one spoil of war and what a spoil it is ladies and gentlemen look how massive he is look how cool he looks i mean the metamorphosis not a big fan but i love the green one that is incredible i think i still had about 18 crates left to go so yeah i mean gosh i think it took like 40 crates or something like that to uh, receive this pet one in 400 so my mission here is complete but fear not i am definitely gonna return to soul wars what a great community everyone here is so funny so friendly uh, a lot of people noticed that i was doing a video here they said some encouraging words and i had no idea what i was doing and some people uh some specific players really went out of their way to teach me while a game was going on live so big thank you to the soul wars community 3.8 mil is what we're looking at from all the spoils of war that's not too bad uh that you know like i said if you're gonna round uh down i should say that's 10 hours of soul wars with 3.8 mil being made uh if you want to round a little bit more down because i did a you know a couple extra hours you can say that it's 300k an hour and if you want to round up you can say it's about 400k an hour not to mention that you have a one in 400 chance at the pet and if this interests you yeah go on to world 320 any time of the day and try out some soul wars it's really easy it's very laid back and it's a really nice community no one's toxic or anything like that or maybe i just wasn't around long enough to see it but uh real helpful players there they'll teach you everything you need to know and yeah what a great video what a great grind i'm really happy that i did this one i wanted to save this video for no sleep november but uh i really just wanted to do it uh because soul wars kept uh, fascinating me throughout these months so i'm glad that i tried it out i'm glad that i got the pet and i'll definitely be back there eventually well ladies and gentlemen that's it for now don't forget to check out 
out the sponsor for today's video. Scanning that QR code helps out tremendously. Uh, so thank you in advance for that. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you soon with a lot of loot from TOA. And a big thank you to the channel members as well with a special shout out to XXXotic X, Deception Z, and Angel's Blood. Mr. No Sleep, out.